this one. Harley Quinn, Harley Quinzel, is a character that appears in the comics published by DC Comics. Harley Quinn was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm as the humorous henchwoman of Batman's supervillain, The Joker, animated series. Hi, boys. So, welcome back to Evo Chronicles, where we showcase the evolution of movies, video games, and characters. And in this video, we'll be discussing the evolution of Harley Quinn in movies and TV series. To be precise, since her debut in the Batman animated series in 1992, Harley Quinn has appeared in many live-action and animated films in addition to comics. Batman is arguably Gotham City's most popular character, but from dark cities in DC like Harley Quinn, other heroes who have reached their own mainstream popularity level and have appeared in many anime outside the comics and lots of villains or live movies and TV appearances. Of course, given that Harley Quinn appeared in the continuity of DC Comics by first appearing on television before it became popular, and as the stars continued to rise, she began to appear off the television. The popularity has made Harley Quinn one of the most profitable characters on the DC roster, as well as multiple seasons in her own anime series that have survived the cancellation of the DC Universe streaming. Harley Quinn was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm for Batman in 1992, an episode of an animated series entitled Joker's Favor, while Dini was writing the episode. Originally written as an animation equivalent to the role of Walk-On, Harley Quinn was intended to appear in one episode. The character named Echo was a prototype version of Harley Quinn that appeared in Gotham. Fox's first part series, Gotham, was held in DC's iconic city years before Batman's arrival, exploring Jim Gordon's career development at GCPD and the evolution of the Dark Knight's future villains. Unfortunately, the series was banned from officially using certain villains like the Joker and Harley Quinn, and instead introduced a unique proto version of the character. Harley Quinn has a number of live action and animated cameos. Harley Quinn is also a member of Teen Titans Go! Against this background, many cameos have appeared over the years. Episodes of 2018's Teen Titans Go! to the movie and Ready Player One in 2018. Tara Strong voiced Harley's cameo in Woman in a Crazy Squad, played by Cassidy Alexa, at CW's Arrow, but her full appearance was cancelled. Harley briefly appeared in the 2017 Lego Batman movie, and then reappeared at the 2019 Lego Movie 2 Part 2. DC Superhero Girls featured two different versions of Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn made her debut as a malicious alter ego after her first appearance as Barbara Gordon, or Batgirl's best friend, Harley. Mia Sara starred as Dr. Harleen Quinzel on TV's Birds of Prey in 2002. For some Harley Quinn fans, it may be surprising to know that she first appeared in the live-action Bird of Prey series in 2002. It was years ago when the character starred with the superhero team on the big screen. Mia Sara described Dr. Harley Quinzel as a psychologist and behind-the-scenes criminal boss attempting to take over the city of New Gotham in a short-lived series. Harley Quinn made a brief appearance in a bonus scene from 2017's Batman vs. Two-Face. Set in the continuity of Batman 66, and featuring the reunion of the hit television series Adam West and Burt Ward, Batman. Following the successful return of the Caped Crusader, a sequel called Batman vs. Two-Face was created. The classic Gotham City villain first appeared in the universe. While the focus was Two-Face, Dr. Harley Quinn appeared in the film as an assistant to Professor Hugo Strange, but in the Blu-ray release bonus scene. Batman, the Brave and the Bold gave Harley Quinn a 1950s-style overhaul. Cartoon Network's Batman, the Brave and the Bold took its name from the Team Up comic series and followed the same assumptions that Batman worked with different characters or teams in each episode that touched on all the eras of the DC Universe. Harley Quinn's only series appearance was the motif of Flapper Girl with the theme of the 1950s. A modernized take on Harley Quinn appeared on the Batman alongside the Joker. In 2004, Batman was released. This was the Dark Knight's first new animated take since the highly successful 90s series, which took a very different approach to character design and revisited part of the character's backstory. Harley was then the host of a psychology talk show, and she soon became the target of the Joker after she publicly lost the series. Harley Quinn was mutated into a hyena in 2019's Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Here, Tara Strong works with Joker, who succeeded in creating a new form of mutagenic Joker toxin that Harley Quinn mutates into a spotted hyena and turns Gotham City's villain into an animal-human hybrid. I return to the role I saw. Harley Quinn frequently worked with Poison Ivy in Justice League action. Tara Strong has replayed Harley Quinn's role in the Justice League action. Justice League action has linked DC's Trinity, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, with the developing members of the League in a brief episode for kids that hurt previous animated versions. This was also true for Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, featured the character's emancipation from the Joker alongside a new team of heroes. Margot Robbie is back as Harley at the 2020 Birds of Prey and the fantastic release of one Harley Quinn. It was renamed Harley Quinn Bird of Prey after the movie's first release. The DCAMU featured a few different versions of Harley Quinn that were loosely connected. The DC animated movie universe features over 30 films adapted to the comic storyline, along with a new original story and a feature-length direct-video release featuring several different versions of Harley Quinn across a variety of shared continuities. She has featured Task Force X in films such as Suicide Squad Hell to Pay in 2018 and Justice League Dark in 2020. Apocalypse War, and Hidden Walsh. Margot Robbie brought Harley Quinn to the big screen in 2016's Suicide Squad. In 2016, Suicide Squad introduced Task Force X to the DC Extended Universe, adapting many comic villains, including Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie, to live action for the first time. Suicide Squad explored Harley's origins with Jared Leto's Joker, and teased her original clown outfit in honor of the cover of her comic debut. Harley Quinn's debut on Batman the Animated Series led to many appearances in the Timverse. Harley Quinn made her debut in the 1992 Batman Animated Series, Alan Sorkin's voice. And although the character's core traits never fluctuated, the character grew so much over the years that it became a comic book. Harley Quinn continued to appear in the Superman Animated Series, the new Batman adventure, Batman Beyond, and the return of the associated Joker movie, and Static Shock. Harley Quinn formed her own villainous gang in her titular animated series. The most faithful adaptation of Harley Quinn's current comic version is her own self-titled anime series. It began airing in 2019 on DC Universe before moving to HBO Max for the next third season. The uncensored adult animation series starring Kaylee Cuoco as Harley Quinn with her own Gotham buddy gang when she made her own name after a dispute with the Joker. The series also starred Poison Ivy and featured their romantic relationships in ways that even cartoons haven't fully explored yet. So that's all for today's video. Until then, feel free to tell in the comments section below what you think about the impact of Harley Quinn's appearances in movies and TV. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to Evo Chronicles and hit that notification bell so you can always be notified by our regular uploads.